Hello and welcome to the video lecture on data types in embedded C. So this is my first lecture under the series of embedded C for 8051. In my earlier videos, we have already discussed uh, the various programs and videos based on the uh, 8051 assembly language. But now we are starting a new series of embedded C. So let us first understand why to program the microcontroller in C language. So first is it is very easier and less time consuming to write a C in uh, assem as compared to the assembly. C is easier to modify and update also. Uh, we can use the code which is available in the function libraries. And the C code is uh, portable to other microcontroller with little or no modification. So because of these advantages actually we are going to program our microcontroller in C. And whenever we are going to program C or you, we are going to use a C language for the microcontroller, it is termed as an embedded C. Now in 8051 microcontroller, we know that the uh, on-chip ROM size is limited. That is the code space is only limited to the 64 kilobytes. And therefore, one of the goal of 8051C programmers is to create a smaller hex files. And therefore, it is uh, important to re-examine the C data types for 8051C. So, a uh, good understanding of C data type for 8051 uh, will definitely help the programmer to create the smaller hex files. So, these are some popularly used data types for embedded C in 8051 microcontroller. So, first is unsigned character, second is a signed cat, unsigned integer, signed integer, sbit and bit and sfr. So, let us discuss all these data types in detail. The first is a unsigned character. So, unsigned character is a 8-bit data type and it is having the range of 0 to 255 that is in hexadecimal it is equal to 0 to 0, 0 to FFH. Mostly wide use data type for 8051 for setting the counter value or ASCII character which is in the range of 0 to 255. And the C compiler use the sign care as a default if we do not put the keyword unsigned. That means suppose you want to define or declare uh, any variable as a sign character then just you can omit the word unsigned and then it will be treated as a sign by the C compilers. The second one is a sign character. The sign character is again a 8 bit data type. So the msbd 7 as it is a sign character the Last bit or the seventh bit is reserved for the sign. So, msbd7 represents the sign. And the magnitude bits are only from d0 to d6. And therefore, the range will be from minus 128 to plus 127. Uh, use the unsigned character unless the data needs to be represented as a sign number. So, for example, a temperature. So, the temperature quantity uh, may be negative or positive. So, only in such cases you go with this sign character. Otherwise, you use the data type unsigned char. Then you have an unsigned integer. So, unsigned integer is a 16-bit data type. And therefore, it will take the value in the range 0 to 65535 because 2 raised to 16 will give you 65535. Or in hexadecimal, it will be 0, 0, 0, 0 to FFFFH. It is used to define a 16-bit variable such as a memory addresses or set the counter values whose value is more than 256 because if it is in the range of 256, you can declare it as a character, unsigned char. But if it is more than that, then you have to go for an unsigned integer. The next data type is a sign integer. Sign integer is again a 16-bit data type, but as it is a sign, uh, so again the D15th bit is reserved for the sign bit and the magnitude bits will be only uh, 0 to D14, that is total 15 bits are available for uh, the magnitude and therefore the range will be from minus 3 to 7, 6, 8 to plus 3 to 7, 6, 7. Then there is a S-bit data type. So the S-bit or it is also called as a single bit. So it is widely used 8051 uh, C data type which is designed specifically to access a single bit addressable registers. So basically it allows the access to a single bits of the SFR 
register. So actually among the SFRs, uh, the widely used and uh, SFRs are nothing but the ports and the ports are also bit addressable. And therefore normally to declare a single bit of uh, any port, we are going to use this S bit uh, data type. So for example, you can see here, suppose you want to declare a port pin 1.0, then you have to write it like S bit, give some name, my bit is equal to P1.0. So any uh, port pin, single port pin, whenever you want to access, then in that case, you have to use the S bit data type. Then comes the uh, bit data type. So the bit data type allows the access to a single bit of bit addressable memory area. And in memory organization of 8051, we have already discussed that the address range for bit addressable area will be from 20 to 2FH. And therefore, this memory area we can address with the help of a data type which is called as a bit data type. And if you want to access the byte size SFR registers, then in that case, you have to use the SFR as a data type. Now, as we uh, go on writing the different programs, then we'll come across all these data types. So, there again, I will explain you all these uh, data types in detail. And this is a final chart for all the data types, their size and the data range or usage. So, whatever we have discussed, I have just put it in one chart. So, just go through it. So, this is what all about the uh, data types which are popularly used in embedded C. So, if you like my video, then please share the video with your friends and don't forget to subscribe, subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys. Thank you so much.